how much has Hollywood changed the last 40 years? It's insanity what's going on in there. Look, my agent called me in about, it was about 10, 11 years ago. My agent manager together. They're never in the same place because they're on different sides of the hill there in, in, in California. And I felt like it was an intervention. But I walk in and said, we can't work with you anymore. Because I started getting pretty vocal on, you know, on the Internet. And my wife says, they're going to come after you. I said, why? What am I? I'm just saying the truth. This is the truth. But apparently the truth is a horrible thing to say on the Internet, as you know. So um, they, they said we can't work with you anymore. And Hollywood um, you know, studios say, no, no, he, he's a Christian, he's a conservative, we can't work with him. And I thought, wow, this is incredible. You guys for decades are the ones screaming for tolerance, screaming for freedom of speech. But as you know, that's all a one-way street with Hollywood. And that's too bad because I don't harbor that kind of hate and anger that they have towards people like me. I just don't. I have friends that are liberal, friends that are atheists, and we get along. We have a beer. We play golf. And we give each other a hard time, but we're still friends. But it's a different world right now in terms of, as you know, the divisiveness that's gone on. And I think it's been created a lot by some of the presidents we've had in the past and also certainly the mainstream media that jump on this bandwagon to go after anybody who has a different point of view. Kevin, in, in Hollywood, uh, Malik, if you can bring me up about five points. In Hollywood, if you look at uh, uh, some of the guys that are able to – coexist with all the other liberals that are in there. Say, politically, we know which side Hollywood leans on. It's not sure. a new thing. Everyone knows about it. But you see some of these guys that are still able to keep producing, mm -hmm. and they're almost like a untouchable community. They, I call it the saint status where a Clint Eastwood, you can't right. touch him. He, he's untouchable. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg was on Fox News last week sure. talking about he's moving his family to Nevada because he wants a – better environment for his kids. He doesn't want the Hollywood thing to be there. He kind of feels like it's a better place for him to raise his kids. There's certain guys in Hollywood that are mm -hmm. still producing, still making. Some of them obviously got blacklisted. Vince Vaughn used to do a lot of work. He got a little bit uh, benched for a couple of years. Sure. Then he came back, maybe not at the levels he was pre-Ron Paul Libertarian, all that mm -hmm. stuff that he was doing. H how do some of the guys that are still conservative, people know they're conser conservative, what makes them get away with it in Hollywood? Well, I just think, like, you bring up a Clint Eastwood. Uh, I think the fact that he's been such a big star for so many years in the A-list world, I think that he uh, – uh, they, they know they got a hit with him. They may, they may disagree with him. I mean, was he 92 years old? I still heard he wants to direct one more movie. I've known Clint – we're not buddies, but I've known him for over 25 years, and I keep saying, Clint, one line, that's all I want in one of your movies. I just want to say I was in a Clint Eastwood movie. But at Wahlberg, I think Wahlberg is sort of in that same category in the, in the younger generation. But these guys, there's no fear with it. You know, I wasn't I wasn't in the A-list world, but I was staying busy. I mean, after Hercules, I did a show called Andromeda for five years, Gene mm -hmm. Roddenberry yep. spinoff. And, um, you know, I, I stayed working, but I do a lot of independent movies. Hollywood gave me the boot, but I still love the industry. I'm, so I'm still staying alive. I've shot over 45 movies since Hollywood said goodbye. You know, not all of them are great, but a lot of them are pretty darn good family movies. And that's what I want to keep doing. Yeah. So I'm fortunate to keep my career going, but it's not like they. They can still do these big $100 million Why, can they? Why do you think they can do it? Why do you think a, uh, uh, for example, uh, Wahlberg, I want to say he's a Catholic, right? When he right. did the movie, uh, Stu, what's the movie called? Father Stu or something. I watched yeah. it. Uh, by the way, it's not a crazy movie. I thought it was going to be a better movie. I'm a big Mark Wal Wal Wahlberg, Wahlberg fan. Sure. I wouldn't say it's his top 10 movie of all time, but it really impacted him in a way where mm -hmm. he kind of came out and talked about how this movie got me thinking, family, all this other stuff. How long has it been known that Wahlberg or Clint or some of these guys are either conservative or not part of the camp in Hollywood? How long has that been known? Um, I, well, I think it varies for each of them. I think for Clint, it's been for a long time. I mean, he wasn't afraid. Of, you know, he was the mayor of Carmel up there. In That's the right, and, just for one reason. Yeah, yeah. And, and I just think that uh, there's there's no fear factor with him, and I think that's great. I think he got guys like Bruce Willis. He's been more vocal. Unfortunately, he's not, his health's not very good right mm -hmm. now. James Woods, he got banned from you know Facebook and Twitter. I got banned from Facebook for posting the truth about COVID, but uh, God forbid you do that. Mark Zuckerberg's a bit of a wuss, and his trolls are the same. But, you know, you got, I, I'm going to keep fighting the good fight. And... Uh, uh, keep speaking for the truth, and we gotta we gotta keep doing that. How these, how long these guys done it? And I, I I have no idea. I just know that Mark Wahlberg I think has been more vocal lately. I think Adam Sandler's on that side too. He's not as vocal, but he still has messages in his movies that show that he is. And I know I pretty know he's more conservative than people probably know. But um, you know it's. It's a, I think there's a fear factor for so many people. I get actors every time that do my movies come up to me because I produce my own movies. I've been directing a lot lately, and they come up, hey, thanks for being a voice for us. And I go, why don't you be a voice for yourself? Why do I have to be your mm -hmm. voice? Well, they don't want the same yeah. thing to happen to them that happened to me. What, what year did this, this really start culminating? Like You said you started acting in the 80s. You probably didn't right. notice it then. 
you know, Clint Eastwood's been speaking yeah. at the RNC for 20 years now, yeah. whatever it is. But you must have noticed some sort of slippery slope in Hollywood. Like, was there a trigger point when you start to see the mechanics kind of shifting and 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 the wokeism taking over? I've, when did I've that always, happen? I've always seen it, but I think when Obama got elected, I think 2008 was a turning point. Um, not because he's uh, half black, by the way, he's also half white. Okay, people forget. Um, I, I just think that he brought forward a different view of uh, of America to people. Uh, you know, he get his he get his wife saying, "I'm finally proud of being American." Really? You know, just, we're not a perfect country, but we're still a country everybody wants to go to, right? Mm-hmm. Nobody's taking boats from Key West to Cuba. They're all coming across here. Correct. So, um, to me, it's like. I, I, I started noticing it during those years, especially, I think the last, I think when Trump got elected, to get attacked every single day. Here's a guy that both parties loved. He was on all the talk shows. He was on the magazines. They had him all. The once he decided to go for one side and say, look, I'm, be, I'm conservative. I'm going to make America a better place. Every day. I don't think no president has gone through what he's gone through every single day of his presidency. And they still mm-hmm. go after him. So, but, so you know what that does to me, though? This gets me to think about because. At one point, you're right, Trump was untouchable. Trump was saint status. Trump was, you know, larger than life. Mm-hmm. Tupac talks about, I mean, everybody would, uh, you know, rap about uh, Trump. And then he goes out. So so maybe the differentiator is there's got to be a line you can't cross with Hollywood for them to turn on you. You can be privately known as conservative like a Mark Wahlberg or a Clint Eastwood or mm-hmm. Adam Sandler or some of these names you're saying. But as long as you're not too vocal, like a you know James Woods, as long, as long as you're not too vocal right. as yourself or some other people, we'll let you slide. But you cannot be too vocal. You think that's kind of what the line is there? Yeah, I, I think for me, not being an A-lister, but being an actor that was still steadily working and still have every year for so the last four decades, um, I was easier to go after right away because I'm not doing three hundred million dollar movies that are making a billion dollars to the studio. I mean, they can claim, they can scream all they want that they love socialism. Let's face it. I mean, Disney still wants to make money. They're a capitalist business. They can put on I think that I flag. Does. I don't know if Shapek wants to make money. So yeah. That's why he got fired. That's why I got, yeah. I got rid of him. Yeah. Oh, and he was good at not making money. Yeah. He was very good at not making money. <laughs> More to your Future Looks Bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.